Hey guys, welcome back to the Girlfriends and Goals podcast YouTube channel. My name is Samaria and I'm joined by my best friend and co-host Miyosha. And today we are doing an Am I the A-Hole reaction video. This is one I actually saw on Twitter, so it made its way over. Mm -hmm. um, so you know when it makes it on Twitter, it's a big deal. But before we get into that, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and meet us down in the comments to share your opinions about this scenario. All right, so I'll go ahead and read it. It says, mm -hmm. am I the able for kicking my maid of honor out of my wedding with five days notice? Ooh. Okay. I'm a 23 year old female getting married in a couple of days. Most of this is in the last two weeks. My maid of honor, 26 female, M, that's her initial, was in charge of planning my bachelorette party, which I wanted to be a surprise. We live in a city, but none of us live downtown. So I was hoping for a hotel room downtown and having a fun night out with friends, maybe a brunch. Most of the bridal party live locally, but two girls flew in for it. When M picked me up two weeks ago on Friday, I was excited to see where we were going and what we were doing. We ended up going to M's one bedroom townhome and spent the whole weekend there. There are eight of us, so it was cramped and we kept running into issues with only one bathroom. On Friday night, we had games and ordered pizza. Saturday, we had a mimosa bar, went shopping, ordered food and watched a movie before parting ways on Sunday. It wasn't the bachelorette party of my dreams or a particularly fun weekend, but it was okay and I appreciated it. She's so sweet. Mm. Last weekend, my fiance, 32 male, Jay, had just returned from a work trip. I hadn't caught him up to speed on the party because there wasn't much to report. But when he returned, we were chatting and I told him about the party. He looked confused, but said nothing else that evening. The next day, I got a message from M asking to meet up to talk about something. M revealed that Jay had given her a significant amount of money over a year ago with the intention that it was used to plan for a bachelorette party. It would have been enough to pay for the entire bridal party to do a week-long vac vacation out of town, including airfare, hotel, food, drinks, and fun. I wasn't expecting this type of event, a weekend downtown would have been wonderful. And even though the party at her home wasn't what I hoped for, I was fine with it because I got to be with all my friends. She instead used the money to pay off credit card debt and hoped that no one would notice. I told her I needed some time to process and went home. After talking with Jay about it, I decided that the best action would be to remove her from the wedding. I came to this decision because I don't feel I can trust her and don't want her to be standing next to me at my wedding. I slept on it overnight and sent her a text saying this on Monday. Since then, I've been getting texts from her mom and boyfriend telling me how awful I am for doing this since I didn't need a big party and Emma was able to financially benefit. My mom is also against removing her from the wedding as she's like a sister to our family and it would be tragic for me to get married without Em there. The rest of the bridal party is split with half saying I shouldn't have kicked her out and the other half agreeing with me. M has called me crying because she already has her dress. Jay and I pay for all the dresses and she can't wear it anywhere else. At this point, I want the wedding to be over with so I can be on my honeymoon and not have to deal with these people. So was my action too extreme? Am I the a-hole? Absolutely not. Okay, where I want to start is me me trying to give a rough estimate of <laughs> how much money because Jay gave, Jay gave her. We're not talking about two to five hundred dollars. She said that this was going to be enough to go on a week long vacation, including airfare, hotel, food, drinks, everything. It sounds like he gave her between five to eight thousand dollars because she then took it to pay off credit card debt. Mm -hmm. So it was a significant amount of money. This is not under a thousand dollars. I feel no. comfortable with saying that. So no, you are not the a-hole. I think it's completely valid to feel like the people who are standing up with me as I take my vows and move into this next chapter of my life, where these are people who are close to me, I can trust, I can be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I think that that's completely valid. I think anyone 
would want that. Of all the days, would you want to be up there looking to your left, your right, and wondering if you could trust these people? Absolutely not. You are not the a-hole. And in fact, I am taken aback <laughs> by your mom, the other bridesmaids, yeah. that they don't have your back. Even, even if I didn't agree 100%, say Samaria was tasked with a situation like this, whatever, however she says she wanted to handle it, I'm 10 toes down on it. This is true. <laughs> because I'm thinking, okay, on this day, I don't want you to have any doubt about yeah. how you decided to handle this situation. Mm -hmm. Now, 15 years from now, maybe I'd be like, eh, I would have handled it differently. But yeah. in that moment to like get you down the aisle in peace, I would never. And the oh, wedding Lord. is in five days at mm -hmm. least that is crazy um yeah it, here's the thing so the poster is 23 years old m is 26 and i think three years not not that three years is like a large difference but 23 and 26 to me, it's a large difference, right? So let's say everybody went to college. The OP is just maybe a year removed from mm -hmm. college. M has been out of college for a few years. She's in her big girl career, perhaps, you know, like she's had a few years under her belt outside of, outside of college if they both went. And so I do think she has taken advantage of it. I think she sees this girl as her little sister and thinks, oh yeah, I can get away with these types of mm -hmm. things. And it's clear that she can because everybody else around them is enabling this behavior. Like you would not, if this were my sister, you wouldn't even be a part of the family anymore. Mm -mm. It, it's a wrap. <laughs> because that's still, you stole money from me. Excuse me? Yeah. And then around having something the audacity, so special. Yeah, having the audacity to be like, oh, well, I have the dress already. You didn't even buy it. Like, girl, it's it's not an issue. Wear it or don't wear it. You're not out any money. You just have an extra item in your closet. Oh, sucks for you. And imagine the position the fiance is in because he's thinking, okay, I feel like this is a friend we could trust that I would give this amount of money to. A year ago. A year ago. And had the nerve to still put on a bachelorette. She couldn't even produce anything of half the value. So that's another thing that where this in person is super trifling. <laughs> because it's like, okay, maybe we don't go out of town. Maybe it isn't for a week. You couldn't even, say she say you received $7,000. You couldn't have put on a shower that was worth $3,000. Mm. To even give the illusion it was like, no, I'm going to max out how much I can make from this. I'm going to put on a $500 shower when I received $7,000. And the girls who had to pay for their flights to fly in, if I were them and found this out, I'd be big mad. Excuse me? You mean I could have gone somewhere free of charge, somewhere nicer than here, free of charge? You you have me fly in to where I'm having to share a bathroom with seven other, seven other people. I would leave. I, I I could not do it. This is one of the reasons why I can't go on that show, Big Brother. I love the show, but I'm like, I have to share a bathroom with how many? I cannot do it. And y'all y'all are in a one bedroom, eight people. Yeah. The bathroom situation makes it worse. But even still, are y'all sleeping on air mattresses? Like, no, nope. people are flying out of town. Absolutely not. Air mattresses. And yeah, you are not the a-hole. I, I feel for you because I feel like your mom, the other bridesmaids should definitely, it doesn't get no more clear cut than this. Yeah. And she's at a stage in her life where she has to find her voice because with the people around you, they're, they're not even trying, they're not trying to help her find her voice. If anything, they're suppressing it even more because for her to say, I don't trust this person I don't feel like I want them standing next to me on my big day. They need to be respecting that. They need to be saying, okay, yes, you're 23 years old, you're young or whatever, but trust your emotions in this particular decision. I have a question. Do you think that this could have been righted or made right 
if when she came to confess, she also gave the money back. She would still be out of the wedding. Here's the thing. If somebody mm. gave you money <laughs> to throw me an extravagant party and you use it to cancel out credit card debt, you gonna have to go back into debt to make it up for me. Like you, mm. whatever credit card you just paid up, run it back up, sis. So that yeah. I can have a party. Okay. So it, it wouldn't be enough no. to just be like, here's the seven thousand dollars, Jay. I would not the trust party, The party already came and went. Yeah. No, but it's not even it's not even about the party at that point. It's the principle, like it's, yeah, her character. Yeah, you can't come back from something like this. And I don't know how the mom could realistically think this girl was gonna be moving in shake. Would you even want her around the family? This girl can't no. be trusted. <laughs> what else is she gonna take what other credit card mm -hmm. that she's about to get into that she's gonna look to us to cancel out for her absolutely not and absolutely it's not. and now your best friend is the one who set this whole energy of you just wanting to get this day over with in motion i think you may expect it from in-laws or even within your own family mm -hmm. but not the person that you actually got a chance to choose to be in your life if to that you extent if you were to do something like that to me, it would hurt worse than a breakup. Yeah. I worse than family. Because I actually chose you. I, I didn't choose them. Can't can't really choose your in-laws. But you can choose the person that you have standing next to you as you take your vows. Yeah. Ooh. She is absolutely right for canceling. Cancel the whole friendship, honestly. Yeah. And on, the bridesmaids who are like, oh, well, I see her point. And, you know, her... M's family talking about, well, you didn't need that big of a party and and um she benefited from it. Haters. It wasn't worth to benefit from. And you don't know what I needed. Like, even if I don't need something, someone else took it upon themselves to make sure that I would get that thing. So yeah, I deserve it because it was mine to have. And that's the bigger issue. They don't think that she deserves it. Her guy may be well off, has means. And they see her, this young woman, progressing, yep. maybe having the wedding, the bachelorette ex experience of her dreams. Mm -hmm. Girl, you might got some haters in the camp. She does. And she does. Let mm -hmm. us know in the comments what you think about this situation. We're only doing one today, uh, but we will be back tomorrow, depending on when this drops. <laughs> and we'll have another video for you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.